one stop, a family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. joking with other people before, but I've had about a thousand and five questions uh, about last season. But we're going to take and learn from last year, yet we're going to put it in the past and apply what we learned for, for this year. Every year is different, and it would be doing a disservice to the 15-16 team if we kept talking about last year. But we, we are very excited about our upcoming season and cautiously optimistic as well, uh, since we still have good health right now. I was going to say, obviously, a lot of that was out of your control, as you mentioned, the health. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. injuries happen year in and year out. Uh, I did get a lot of support from coaches within the conference as well as across the country saying sorry about you, but your kids at the end of the day still played very hard. And that's what this program is about year in and year out. You're going to get our best effort no matter if we have seven or if we have 15. Is it sort of a blessing in a way that you had to use so much depth that uh, there is a lot of experience, I guess, because you were forced to a lot, a lot of young players got experience last year, uh, but they could have gotten experience last year because this is a program where if you're good enough to play, you're going to play no matter what year you are. I think a lot of coaches would say that, but we're going to take what we learned and apply it as best we can this year. And our, our biggest strength right now is availability. Our best ability is availability, and that's what we have currently. So there's nothing that probably eats at you from last year as you go into this season because you know injuries were really the main main issue it wasn't just like bad performances necessarily on the field. I, I have watched more game film from two years ago than from last year. <laughs> Let's put it that way. The banners. I asked several players, I mean so much tradition up there and none of them experienced the NCAA tournament and Miriam said, you know, she, that's what's fueling her. How much I know you said you don't worry about last year, but with all the tradition, how much did it you guys try to get it back to where it is and do they talk about it? We talk about playing hard in drills and giving championship effort. Having there's, You cannot have traits that aren't equivalent to a champion and expect championship results. You need to have championship traits to earn championship banners and when there's a drill that's not going well, we'll stop it and we'll ask is that our best effort? Is that a championship trait? Or is that a middle of the pack trait? And we, we can pick, we have tend to pick it up after we, we can stop and, and talk about that. But uh, it's a unbelievable to be in this facility and see the banners above us because it represents previous team successes. It represents uh, alums who have made uh, the right choice by coming to Bowling Green and it's a fantastic opportunity for our current team, for recruits to see those and want to be a part of that because we believe we have a very special tradition now and we hope to continue that tradition in the future. Early on in practices, do you like the trade CC? Excuse me? Early on in practices, do you like the traits you see? Yes. Uh, we had, in, as everyone knows, we had Antonio Daniels stop by and, and talk over the weekend and, and talk to our student athlete population. And he emphasized exactly that, what the championship traits are. Everybody can talk about being a champion until you realize what it takes to be a champion and the, what you need to do, it's a little bit harder. So the expression, talk is cheap, just do it, uh, that, that would apply and we need to just do it this year. Kind of along that point, but not necessarily tied to Antonio Daniels. Miriam mentioned, I was talking to her earlier, that practices are much more competitive this season. Is that something you see as well? Much more competitive because we have depth. Uh, it wasn't a lot of competition last year when we only had seven people and you could only play five. So there was no lines, there was no rotation. It was just get in. The practice was were significantly shorter because we had to save our energy for, for games. But yes, there's competition every day in every drill. And our practices are a little bit longer because now with having so many people, we have lines and we need to have more repetition as well for those waiting to play. And more on Miriam, her senior year. Um, you know, what do you what do you see for her this season? Before this press conference started, I went up to Miriam and I said, "Hey, enjoy it. This is your last one." I told her I still remember when when she committed here years ago. She was my first. Uh, 
Bowling Green women's basketball recruit commitment. And I remember when she said it in the office and with her family here, uh, and I've given her a pep talk before today, and she's like, I'm still mad that my team lost in three on three. So the competitive nature of that kid uh, extends even at after practice. But I'm really looking forward to what Miriam will be able to contribute on and off the floor and how she'll be able to lead this team. As you've gone through practices, what kind of, you mentioned the traits, the depth, but what excites you the most about this team? I enjoy this group. Uh, it, it's fun. I, I come into practice and this is not cliche, but I come into practice in a good mood every day because of being able to work with this particular group. Uh, they're fun. Uh, the older ones get my jokes. Uh, the younger ones fake it well enough, so they still laugh. But it's a group that enjoys being around each other. And we're going to have a, a team dinner at my house this Friday night, pumpkin carving contest. We're going to see who wins. And it's a group that wants to spend time together, and they want to get better. But they have very similar goals, and they have very similar ideas on how to achieve those goals as a group. A pumpkin, pumpkin carving contest, so the competition never ends. Correct. Uh, competition never ends, and the coaches will be the judges, so I'm expecting some bribes from some players on Friday night. <laughs> How important is that chemistry? It sounds like, you know, off the court you guys are having fun too. That really helps a team throughout the course of the season. It, it does, and you, you can't put a price tag on, on chemistry. You can be extremely talented uh, with, with players in different positions. You can have an unbelievable game plan and with X's and O's that are unstoppable, but if you have a group that doesn't like each other or doesn't want to play for a coach or doesn't want to play well together, uh, all that can go downhill in a hurry, and we're really fortunate that uh, the momentum that we have right now is carrying us uh, uh, further ahead together in the right direction. Uh, I always believe that I tell the team all the time that you can go forward, you can go sideways, or you can go backwards. And each day we're, we're getting one step better, and that's what it, one of the, our main goals will be.